Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1982 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Detroit Tigers and the California Angels at Anaheim Stadium. On the mound for the Tigers today is Jack Morris, whose record is 9-10 with a 4.30 ERA. And pitching for the Angels today is Ed Helicki whose record is 10-13 with a 4.57 ERA. So this road trip starts off with a loss yesterday, and i got to hang this one on myself. I did a poor job of managing this uh, extra inning game. There were some exciting moments. Uh, Barbaro Garbet had two home runs, including an inside-the-park home run, and... Earlier in the game, Marky Wags hit it inside the park home runs. We had two inside the park home runs yesterday. Um, Burt Blylevin did not pitch poorly. We let him go seven, um, and he he left with a tie. Um, but uh, we went to the thirteenth inning. Uh, we just kept trading runs with the Angels, and eventually our bullpen, uh, which is breaking down right before our eyes. Um, Gave up like uh, three runs in extra innings, and that was it for us. We we lost the ball game. Every single player played. Every player on the roster got into the ball game, and I might have overdone it on that. I probably should have um, left uh, some offensive players in there and not um, left us shorthanded later. Now, whoops, look at that Netflix information popping up on the screen. Um, I was going to say before that, that we, um, we have another week here before the, the month ends. And although we are struggling in our bullpen, um, the good news is at the end of the month, uh, the rosters expand and we can bring up a bunch of our, uh, solid minor league pitchers, uh, like Jerry Uger, like Bruce Robbins, um, like Brian Kelly, who... Really pitched well. Maybe should be on our roster right now, and we can start to give like Tom Hume a few days off. He's clearly overworked. He's given up uh, runs in five out of the last six games that he's pitched in. Um, all the bullpen is available today. Jack Morris, uh, current lineup versus the Angels, only batting one seventy-six against him. So that's not too shabby. That's a little hopeful. We'll talk more about Morris coming up and Ricky and Lou are again are listed as tired we are definitely in trouble as is but if Ricky and Lou are going to be listed as tired every other game uh, we're going to have to make some decisions about letting these guys uh, get into ball games and playing them even though they're listed as tired so uh, Guy Solars playing second base again after playing it just two days ago and um, Barbaro Garbet is crushing it. Three home runs in his first two games of the Tiger uh, this season. Uh, definitely got to play him. Eddie Murray can just eat it on the bench for all I care. That was one of the worst trades I've ever made. Let's go ahead and do the official lineup rundown for the Tigers today. Batting leadoff in center field is Eddie Miller. Batting second. At first base is Barbaro Garbet. Batting third at, in left field is Kirk Gibson. Batting cleanup at third base is Mickey Hatcher. Batting fifth and catching today is Lance Parrish. Batting sixth in right field is Andre Dawson. Batting seventh and DHing today is Howard Johnson. Batting eighth at second base is Guy Solars. And batting ninth. Playing shortstop is Mark Wagner. Let's take a look at Ed Holicki making his 29th start of the season. 10 and 13 record with a 4.57 ERA. He's already given up 109 runs and 201 innings pitched. He's broke the 200 mark uh, for innings pitched only for the second time in his <coughs> pardon me in his career. He's got 117 Ks. Opponents are batting 267 against him. Three complete games with a shutout. Fastball tops out around 88 miles an hour. 
Uh, ground ball average right at around 40%. That seems kind of low. Fastball's his best pitch, rated at 89. Slider at 81, so two pitches above average. With uh, the changeup uh, rated a 74. Overall at 88, uh, 31 years old. He's going to be on the hook uh, until 1986. Keeping in mind that the last year that Ed Halicki pitched in the majors was 1981. So he's already beyond, uh, which is kind of cool. He's already kind of beyond his uh, career value at this point. So it'll be interesting to see what Halicki does in the upcoming years before uh, that contract expires. Defensively, for the Angels, uh, Freddie Patek in there at third. So he's defensively a liability, and we all already know that um, that uh, Don Baylor out there in left is uh, kind of a tough shape too. Uh, they are resting um, two of the three players that are, were tired in, on their roster. I took a look at it before the game started. Uh, Don Baylor also listed as tired, um, and uh, Lansford and uh, shoot, who did they have batting second? Uh, he was listed as tired too, so they took him out. Everybody's getting some rest. Here's. Eddie Miller leading off against Ed Holicki. Ed on Ed. Miller walks. And uh, Harper, as we know, not a great arm. Only 78. We're going to have him try to steal second base. Maybe a mistake with Garbay up since Garbay is crushing it so far. We're going to try to get him in scoring position. Kind of a pitch out. Miller does steal second. His 23rd stolen base on the season. Not bad for 141 at-bats. Okay, we're going to let Garbay swing away. And a ground ball to first. We'll move Miller to third. So Miller, 90 feet away. We're going to have um, Gibby attempt a sack fly. He's 3-for-3 three at three the walk in his career against Holicki. I feel good about this. Oh, ball four. Awesome. This is exactly what we want. First and third. One down for Mickey Hatcher. We're going to hit and run with Hatcher. For sure. And he's going to drop it into center field. Falls in for a hit. Miller scores. Gibby goes to third. And it's 1-0 Detroit. That is Hatcher's... 86th RBI in the season. He is third in the American League right now in RBI. Nicely done. Okay, so now we're going to request a sack fly from Parrish. Parrish, not an RBI guy. A definitely double play possibility here. Let's get it to the outfield, Parrish. Oh, he lifts it. It's not going to make it out of, the out, out, out of the infield, unfortunately, for the second out. First and third for Dawson. Dawson coming around slowly. Average almost up to 220. And he just clutch with runners in scoring position. That's not going to do it. As he flies out to Pettis in center field. So the Tigers leave two on the base pass. Go to the bottom of the first for up a run. Here is the lineup rundown for the Angels today. Batting a leadoff in center field is Gary Pettis. Batting second in right field is Larry Harlow. Batting third in catching is Brian Harper. Batting cleanup and DHing today is Daryl Sconyers. Batting fifth at first base is John Harris. Batting sixth at shortstop is Steve Lubertich. Batting seventh at second base is Bobby Grich. Batting eighth. In left field is Don Baylor. And batting ninth etch. Third base is Freddie Potek. Well, we've covered this a few times. Jack Morris cannot get off the schneid. We're just going to go right to the log. Look at this. He has not won a ball game since June 22nd. We're August 24th. That is uh, two months worth of baseball where he is not given us a win. He's only gone seven innings in his last two starts. The walks are absolutely killing him right now. And um, 
we desperately need this guy to do something for us today. Maybe our bullpen is all available, but we don't need to use them anymore. We need Morris to step up and give us seven solid innings and maybe a chance to win this ball game. He's going to face uh, Gary Pettis. Just take a look at the Tigers' defensive alignment with uh, Solars over there at second base. And Barbaro Garbay, not a great defensive first baseman. He's adequate. Here's Gary Pettis leading off. And Pettis gets a base hit to start off the ball game for the Angels. You know he's going to be going on Parrish. Runner on first. Here is the lefty Larry Harlow. First time we've seen him this year. Batting 295. And Pettis steals second base like it was nothing. 38th stolen base for Pettis in scoring position for Larry Harlow. And there's the base hit. So it's one all. Oh, actually, Pettis holds up at third. Um, Gibson out there in left does not have a good arm. Um, we are going to, I mean, I'll, I'll sacrifice that run for a double play. So we're going to keep everybody back as the catcher with 66 speed steps in. This is Brian Harper. Angels look like the Tigers uniforms. I was a little bit confused for a moment. Holy shit. That's a double off the wall. Two run score and Jack Morris, I mean I may as well yank him right now. He is horrible. What a piece of garbage he is. As Sconyers pops it up in the foul ground. There we go. There's one down. Uh, I didn't check to see, but Harper, I believe that is his 22nd double of the season. There we go. So one out. John Harris up. Another pop-up on the infield. This time to Marky Wags. Wags makes the play. That's going to leave it up to Lubertich. Lubertich leading the team in home runs with 20. And he pops it up. So, after uh, the consecutive uh, hits there, three straight pop-ups to get out of the inning. So, the Angels come back, take the lead in the first. We're through one. It's two to one. Here's Hojo leading off against Ed Holicki. I can't believe how bad Morris is. It's so frustrating. It's like, um, you know, I, is it a coincidence that it happened when I got Burt Blylevin as uh, Guy Solars walks? Speed is pretty good. Um, we can't hit and run with Wags. <coughs> Let's, um... Let Wag swing. And he pops it up. So we're going to have Solar steal second. Try to get into position for Miller. Alright. Here we go. We're going to steal second base. Only 67% chance. So maybe he's got good base running ability, but maybe not good stolen base skills. Yeah, he steals second base. There we go. That is his fifth stolen base combined. Uh, Giants in Detroit. Second one for the Tigers. Has not been caught yet. All right. Two down runners. Scoring position for Ed Miller. Let's go fast, Eddie Miller. Ground ball. Miller is not going to get any hits anytime soon. He is in the middle of uh, bringing his average back to normal. Take a look at his log. Look at this. Um, I guess it's not as bad as it seems. He's batting 280 in his last 20 games. And he's got six doubles. All right. So maybe I'm a little bit off on that. Um, it just feels like he's not contributing. But I guess you could say that about a lot of the Tigers right now. Okay, here's Bobby Gritch. He's 0 for 4 in his career against Jack Morris. But not this Jack Morris. Oh, he strikes him out. There we go. I would not have guessed Morris would get a strikeout before he got a walk today. There's one out. Here's Don Baylor, again, listed as tired before the ball game, but he's in there. A comebacker to Morris. 
Two down. And Freddy, Freddy Patek, Freddy Patek, folks, I don't know if you know this, but you can see he's not a home run hitter. But Freddy Patek once hit three home runs in a ball game. I want to say it was in 1977. I wish I could remember the uh, news clipping, but I believe it was 77. He had three home runs in one ball game. He's like five foot six. It packs a punch. There we go. Base hit in left field for Patek. Fourth single, fourth hit against uh, Morris. We're not even through uh, the second inning. And then Patek tries to steal second base, and Parrish guns him down. Parrish getting better at that as the season progresses. We go to the top of the third. Here's Barbaro Garbay leading off. Garbay 0 for 1 on the day. And a sharp line drive right at the second baseman. Play is made by Gritch, one down. Next up is Kirk Gibson. Walked his first time up. And he's going to pop out into foul ground. Maybe when uh, Miller comes up next time, we'll try to lay down a bunt to third and see if we can't uh, take advantage of having a terrible third baseman out there. As Hatcher strikes out on cue, as terrible third baseman. He's awesome, though. We can't complain about Hatcher. We're going to the bottom of the third. Tigers only have one hit so far. Jerry Pettis leading off the bottom of the third with a ground ball to Hatcher. He makes the play. One down. Up next is Larry Harlow. Harlow, a grounder to Solars. Two quick outs for Morris. We could use a 1-2-3 inning. Oh, ground ball that gets past. Wags it short. Not this inning. As uh, That's Harper's second hit, I believe. Yeah, because he had the double his 22nd of the season. So Harper on first. We know he's not stealing. Skonyer strikes out for the second out. Nicely done. We go to the top of the fourth. Two to one, California. Here is Lance Parrish, big wheel. He's been struggling mightily. He did have a home run not too long ago, but uh, not contributing otherwise. Flying out to right field. There's one out. Next up is Andre Dawson. Infield single by Dawson. We'll take it. Anytime Dawson can get on base. We got to feel good about that. We're going to let uh, Hojo swing away. He's got 94 power. I think that's the best on the team. Oh, he strikes out on a slider low and outside. Do we dare try to send Dawson? I think we have to, right? We got to do what we can, whatever we can to get someone in scoring position. I don't trust Solars to get another hit. Let's see what Dawson does here. High pitch. Oh, he does steal second base. So that's our third stolen base today. And Dawson's 10th of the season. Sneaky fast. If he could get on base more, he'd probably have 20 stolen bases by now. Let's see if Solars can come through for us. Solar Solars is only batting 211 overall. Walked his first time up. And he flips it to right field. That should score Dawson. It does. Great job coming through. From Guy Solars, we needed that desperately. It's all tied to two now. And a chance here for Wags to swing away. Ah, comebacker for Wagner to Halicki. And that'll do it. We do score the run on the base hit by Solars. We're going to the bottom of the fourth inning. Harris, Lubertich, and Gritch are due up. Morris at 51 pitches. No walks so far, so um, maybe we can get 70, uh, 70 uh, innings pitched for uh, Morris today. Harris pops up to Garbe at first. There's one down. Next up, Steve Lubertich, a grounder to Solars at second. Again, two quick outs. Can we get a 1 2 3 inning? That would be our first one of, of the uh, ball game. Nope. Morris finally uh, gives up a base on balls. This one to Gritch. So runner on first for Don Baylor. 
And Baylor with the base hit. Damn it. This is so frustrating. All right. We're going to bring the outfield in. Patek had a base hit his first time up. Uh, it doesn't have any power, so we know he's not going to get a home run here, but we want to at least keep it in front of us. And he strikes him out. Okay, so Morris stepping up in the moment with the strikeout. I think that's his fourth on the day. We go to the top of the fifth inning. Eddie Miller leading off. We're going to lay down a bunt, see if we can't take advantage of his speed and the poor third baseman. I don't do this very often. Oh, there's a comebacker to Halicki, and Halicki throws him out. It isn't very often that I intentionally uh, bunt for a hit. Maybe three to four times this year, tops, as Garbay grounds out. So this is the, <laughs> the game where Garbay's batting average gets back to normal. He did have three hits in his first two games each, so he had six hits on the season. I guess is what I'm trying to say. And Gibby walks. So Gibson is not hitting at all, but he is walking more than I've ever seen him. 53 walks, and he's got 13 walks in his last 20 games. Um, I'm just pointing that out because uh, I don't remember Gibby being that kind of ball player. Okay, we're going to go for it. Gibson is the one guy I don't trust to make it. 74% chance with two down and Hatcher at the plate. A curveball and Gibson is safe. That's our fourth stolen base today. 21 on the season for Gibby. All right. Will Hatcher come through? He's pretty clutch. And he does. Base hit into right field. Gibby coming around third. Oh, that is not going to be deep enough. I think we got to go for it. 50-50 chance. That's like 3% chance in this ball game's actual measurements. Uh, Harlow does not have a good arm. We're going to do it. 3, 2, 1. Oh, man. We got greedy. And now we go to the bottom of the fifth, and we know when there's a base running error, a blunder, a bad call by the uh, third base coach. It usually changes the momentum. So we'll see if uh, Morris gets mogled here in the fifth. Pet is swinging hard on a 2-2 count, popping it up. I thought that was going to be an error. Maybe it is a foul out. Just has popped up. I'm assuming Parrish made the catch. I don't know. One down. Larry Harlow, ooh, strikes out on a fastball outside. I've made a, I have a little notebook I make notes in on things I want to try to um, correct. And uh, one of the things this game has wrong is Jack Morris um, does not have his split finger fastball. That is a pitch that's in this game. And I believe that Roger Craig taught him that fastball, uh, but not in any... Not yet, so I don't feel bad about him not having it. I think he learned that in 83. I've been trying to do research. If anybody out there, uh, this is a, a, a genuine thing I want to know. If anybody out there knows of some sort of reference of pitchers and their pitches that they threw, whether it's on the internet, whether it's a book, let me know. I'll pay for a service if it's on the internet. So if you know of that, I've, I have looked. I cannot find it. Um, I'd like to find out for sure as Harper just crushes the dead center field. 403 feet caught at the wall by Miller. So a one, that's the first one, two, three inning. So uh, forget about my uh, momentum change theory. We're going to the sixth inning. We have Parrish leading off the inning with Dawson and Johnson coming up. Parrish 0 for 4 against Holicki in his career. And there's another ground ball out. This time to short. One down. Hawk up next. He had the infield single. Flipping it to right. There's two outs. Okay, Howard Johnson with two down. We need him to get something started here. Ooh, another strikeout. Well, 
Johnson might not be the answer. I, I thought when he came up and hit that home run in his first at bat, um, he might be a good replacement for Greg Brock. But um, again, we have the rosters expanding. We'll have another. Uh, we'll have a um, at the end of the month. We'll have a uh, roster expanding league leaders standings video where we talk about who we're going to bring up. Okay, Morris is getting things. Uh, Going here, that's four outs in a row in his fifth strikeout. This time it's Scania's. Another lefty. Oh, shit. I just jinxed him as John Harris crushes at the left center field. That is his 14th home run of the season. And the Tigers are now losing 3-2. to two. Only four hits for Detroit again. I mean, we are definitely slumping in every aspect of the game. Morris, six strikeouts, approaching 100 pitches. And Gritch flies out to center. You know, I haven't been drinking alcohol because of COVID. I've, um, I mean, I feel fine, but other than the cough that I can't get rid of. But I picked up some whiskey, and you know what? I'm going to, maybe the, maybe since I've had COVID, we just haven't been able to to play well because I haven't been drinking. So I'm, I've got whiskey right here. I'm just going to drink it right from the bottle. We're going we're gonna to get this baby going right here in the seventh. Okay. That's not the good stuff. That's the cheap stuff. That's going to linger. Uh, all right. Okay, Guy Solars. Solars, one for one with the walk today and a stolen base. This is the guy to get it going right here. Uh, ground ball to third. Patek makes the play. One out. Here's Marky Wags. Wags? He does something every ball game, but he's 0 for 2 today. He had the inside the park home run yesterday. Look at his 532 slugging percentage versus right handers. That's incredible. There it is. There's a walk. Now we know Mark uh, Wagner. Cannot steal. Uh, we could sacrifice Bunt with Miller. Uh, I think we're going to let him swing away. I don't think we're going to get a double play. Ooh, that's a crush in the center. Get down. It did get down. It's a double off the wall. Wagner scores from first, and it's all tied at three. Oh, they hold on here. Like I, I, we're going to take another drink. I'm going to get effed up. That's the only way we're going to win. It wasn't as smooth the second time either. Okay. Oh. Miller, that is his 11th double. Again, he has as many doubles as uh, Ricky Henderson does in only a 143 at bats. Oh, well. All right. Okay, Barbara Garbe. Game's tied. 100 pitches for Halicki. How much longer are they going to go with him? As Barbaro Garbet gets a base hit into left field, and that's the go-ahead run. RBI single for Garbet. Miller scores from second. It's 4-3. to three. Detroit, nicely done. Okay, Gibby. Gibby is due. He's been on base with walks. Oh, I haven't switched over to the in-game stats yet. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm thinking more about the whiskey than anything else. Every time we take a slug, something good happens. We're going to let Gibby swing away here. Player of the game, hard to call right now. That might be a last-minute decision. And Gibson comes through with a base hit to right. Garbet, will he go to third? Garbet's got really decent speed for a first baseman. He's in at third. It's first and third. One out with our best hitter up. And they're going to bring in T.R. Bryden. T.R. Bryden, pretty decent relief pitcher. We've seen him in all three... Uh, Sim seasons, 32nd appearance. He's two for five with a 3.78 ERA. Ooh, more walks and strikeouts, but his opponent, uh, uh, opponent's batting average is only 2.11. No saves. He's got a bluey. His fastball tops out around 90. So be a, a reliever that hits 90 is kind of a big deal. A lot of ground balls. 48.8 percent. His changeup is his out pitch, rated at 95. That is awesome. Fastball below average. He's only 23 years old. 
He's got some room to grow. He's already rated a 90. Uh, this is his rookie baseball card, a 1987 card. It's only 82, right? So it's five more years for him to actually make it to the majors in real life. And uh, he's basically a veteran of 142 innings pitch. I like that guy. Uh, we're going to hit and run. One out. Runners at first and third. That's a hit and run situation for Mickey Hatcher. The guy does it well. Hatcher's two for three today with an RBI already. Oh, no. 2-2 two, two count. Oh, he does get a piece of it. Hits a grounder to short. Garbay scores. That's the, uh, <coughs> I'm sorry, second RBI for Mickey Hatcher today. Gibby in there at second. Let's see if Parrish will come through. Wait a minute. Parrish doesn't get RBIs. This, this comes for my third shot of whiskey. No, it doesn't get any better. Oh, that's the worst. Okay, here we go. Oh, man. Okay, uh, here's Lance Parrish. 0 for 3 on the day. He's due. Oh, they walk him. There we go. That's all right. Walks Parrish to get to Dawson. Now, Dawson, not having a good season, but I do trust him in RBI situations. Oh, he pops it up, though. We are going to get three runs this inning. We'll take it. We take the lead. It's 5-3 to three Detroit. And um, I think we have to let Morris go one more inning. It's not like he's been horrible today. He got off to a bad start, but he turned a corner. As Don Baylor steps up, hits a grounder to Garbay at first. There's one down. Next up is Freddie Patek. Light hitting shortstop playing third base today. Hits a grounder to Wags. Throws him out. Okay, this is where I get a little nervous. Um, we learned yesterday through my mis my error that Pettis, as a left-handed batter, as a switch hitter, as a lefty, hits worse than he does against righty. Because remember, we brought in Rucker, and Pettis um, basically started the rally that kind of lost us the ball game. Here, Pettis hits it out to Gibby, and that'll do it. A great one-two-three inning from Morris. That might be the end of it for him. As we go to the top of the eighth, we got T.R. Bryden still in there. Um, we are up a run. Um, we're going to let Johnson swing away here. Already two strikeouts today, and now he's 0 for 4 with the ground out to third. Next up is Solars. Solaris gave us an RBI, a big hit earlier, and another walk. Look at these guys. It's the bottom of the lineup. These two clowns that uh, you don't expect anything from, they're coming through for us today. Uh, we're up two runs. We're going to let Wagner swing away. He's 0 for 2. He's due for a hit. Oh, no. Solaris gets picked off. Oh, Solaris. That's his first caught stealing of the year. And now Wagner just will take a cut. Uh, he flies out to Baylor. That's unfortunate. All right. So we've got three lefties due up. Three out of the next four batters. That's going to be it for Morris. In line to finally get his 10th win. And his first win in two months. Um, gosh. Why, uh, Rucker has been struggling, right? Oh, no. I keep saying that. But he, isn't, he had a bad play at right. He threw 28 pitches. He's not tired, though. And he hasn't even thrown 50 innings. Uh, I'd love to bring in Capizello, but Cappy uh, has been struggling. Okay, so we're going to bring in our boy. It's going to be Rucker. We're going to give him a chance to uh, redeem himself. And we'll take a look at him real quick. As you've seen here, he didn't do well yesterday. Uh, 56 games, ah, that's a lot, folks. 8 and 6 on the year. So we plays into a lot of decisions with those 14 saves. He, he did get a blown save yesterday. He's got two blueies now. 28 strikeouts and 49.1 innings pitch. Let's play 247 against him. Uh, a good pitch. I mean, he's, he's a good pitcher. Where would we be without him this year? All right. He's going to face Larry Harlow, who does not have a hit versus lefties this year. Youch. 
Um, we're also going to bring in, defensively, a guy we're paying a lot of money to, Eddie Murray, at first. And there we go. All right. He's a gold glove winner, folks, so that's why he's going in there. Okay, here's Larry Harlow. Line drive at Wags, and Wagner makes the play. Playing a great shortstop this year. Here's the one righty. This is going to be tough. Harper usually bats fifth in this lineup. He moved up to third. He's coming through. Two for three, two RBI. Oh, right in front of the plate. That's going to be an error. Yep. And whenever it does that, it sits here and sits and spins, as I like to say. Uh, you know it's going to be an error, and you know that this could be bad for us. Um, also, it could be a double play with Harper running. And that's 17th error for Parrish. Holy shit, that's ridiculous, folks. 974 fielding percentage. 17 errors. The guy never had more than 9 in any season. That's a flaw. Good job by Rucker. Striking out Sconiers for the third time today. And here's John Harris. We are going to guard the line here against an extra base hit. There's no way Harper should be scoring from first on a double. And a ground ball to Murray. Gold Glover. Step on the bag. There we go. We're going to the top of the ninth inning. We're going to bring in Todd Fisher. Fisher came in yesterday. Got the win. Fourth appearance. He's got a win and a save against the Tigers this year. You see there, there's the victory. He gave up a run and four hits and two walks. Wow. We were, <laughs> we were worse defensively. He threw 41 pitches. Oh, yeah, he's actually tired. He probably shouldn't be even in the ballgame. Um, let's see if we can take advantage of that. Here's Miller starting us off. Crushing it to dead center. Get out, get up, get out. Oh, 381 feet. That might not even made it to the warning track. Uh, so close. Here's Eddie Murray. And he can't even hit it as far as the light hitting Miller. He's going to be safe on an error. Pettis dropped the ball, I guess. Maybe he got caught in the sun. I don't know, but Murray's on first. Let's go bring up Gibby. He's one for two. He's got a couple walks today. Stolen base. And a ground ball to first. That'll be a double play. Oh, no. Wait. How could they not get Murray at second? Unbelievable. Well, we'll take another chance. Bringing up Hatcher. Two for four. Two RBI today. I thought they were going to walk him. Instead, it'll just be a ground out to short. And we're going to bring in our boy Weaver. Close this ball game out. He has been lights out all season. Does have one blown save with those 17 saves. 59th game, that's a lot. Uh, 3 and 6, 149 ERA. Opponents are batting 173 against him. And for the first time in his career, he's got more Ks than walks. Let's take a look at his splits. Nobody hits him, especially righties. We've got three righties due up. And uh, he's good. He's an MVP candidate. Let's see how he does today. He's got Lubertich, Gritch, and Baylor. So it's not going to be easy. got the team's home run leader, uh, one of the, maybe a Hall of Fame second baseman, and, uh, and Don Baylor, one of the uh, best hitters of all time. And there's, oh, there's a base hit from Lubertich, but Wagner ranges over. Scoops it and tosses him out. Nicely done. I was calling that a single before uh, the play was over. Next up is Bobby Gritch and a grounder to Solaris. Two quick outs. And it's down to Don Baylor. Again, listed as tired, but he's one for three on the day. And a grounder up the middle. Solaris. Makes the play. Tigers win 5-3. to three. That was a win we really desperately needed. Great job by the Tigers. 
Oh, fudge. Look at that, folks. We just lost Ricky Henderson for the season, including the playoffs. He ruptured his cervix. Gosh darn it, 73 days. I mean, he's injured every other day. He's tired every other day. Uh, I mean, his season's over. <sighs> That's frustrating. Let's take a look at um, the standings. We did gain a game back. We're a half game back. We are suffering uh, so many injuries. We've, we've lost four everyday starting uh, lineup players. Um, Kansas City has lost 10 in a row. Holy cow. That is rough. That is real rough. That manager is probably going to get fired. Maybe the GM, too. Um, let's take a look at the headlines. That's our new thing we do. Flip to the next day. This is garbage uh, yesterday. Two home runs are in vain because I, I blew it. It's my fault. Renicky of uh, Minnesota had four RBIs. Leads the twin, Twins to a 9-7 to seven victory. Twins are on a roll. Um, it doesn't say that he hit a home run. He had three. Oh, he did hit a home run. There we go. And uh, Big Daddy, Cecil Fielder, got no hits. <laughs> I love. I, I would love to be a writer for this new newspaper. Uh, let me tell you what didn't happen. Okay, that's it. There's no other, uh, no other information. So let's go ahead and take a look at the transactions. Whoa. Okay, so Ricky got injured for two months, and then everybody decided to re uh, retire. Uh, three catchers did. Johnny Oates, Mike Sadick, and the great Johnny Walkenfuss. Only 33 years old. He was still playing on the Tigers at this point. I love Johnny Walkenfuss. There's, you see here's his, um, his card. Uh, honestly, one of my favorite players, one of the players I remember most from my childhood, I remember the last name. I thought it was crazy. Um, he was actually actually a really good catcher, a uh, great defensive catcher, uh, um, had a little bit of power. Uh, you don't see a lot of um, stats here, but he played um, pretty late into his career. So very, very cool. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Sorry, folks. Let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Nice 5-3 to three victory. This is a tough call. Who is the player of the uh, analysis? Let's see. Uh, well, two RBI for Hatcher. I think it's going to be Hatcher, right? Um, yeah, he had two RBI. Two hits, two RBI. We're going to give it to Hatcher. Uh, we had four stolen bases this game. Solars got picked off. That sucked. Lance Parrish took it over and made an error. Hey, Jack Morris gets his 10th victory. Hits the double digits. 10 and 10. Pitched pretty good there. I was a little worried early on. Almost yanked him in the first. Um, but he goes 107 pitches. Roger Weaver, his 18th save. Halicki takes his 14th loss. John Harris with his uh, 14th home run on the season. Okay, that's going to do it. We're going to come back tomorrow with uh, game three of the three-game series. Until then, everyone, have a great night.